Hello everybody, my name is Jemmy, and today I will be continuing my series of teaching myself Python in the future, so I, I won't forget in the future, and th today is day 6 of that, or EP6, and today I'm going to be showing you a new game I found called Code Combat, it's actually like a Python game, and it's really easy to use, if I don't have face cam in this video, um, the reason is because last video my green screen was horrible, and um, so I don't think I should use it anymore, uh, because I'm not in my normal recording setup, so I'm just not going to use face cam for now, and yeah, so this is just a blank screen, but anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open our browser, you can use Chrome or Edge or whatever you use, I'm going to use Opera because it's, uh, it's the browser I use, and then after that you just type in code combat like so, and then uh, press enter, and then the first link, codecombat.com, will be the link we want to go to. So codecombat.com. We get to click sign up because we don't have the account yet. Okay, once you click sign up, uh, you click uh, what you are. But I'm going to say I'm an individual because I play at home. So I think you should do I'm an individual. So after that, enter your birthday, uh, February 28th. Uh, you can, I'm not sure about the year, but I'm just going to overextend it so I don't get like, can't, uh, I don't get, canceled or something i don't know um but uh so i use my own birthday and i click continue and then from there you enter your gmail address i'm gonna have to blur this part out but you can use any gmail address that is yours and i am clicking mine and then you can enter your username anything uh, i'm gonna enter in like a like something uh let's see jemmy or just coding for kit how about that coding for kit like so Okay, it's already taken. Who, 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 who took my name? Hmm? Is that coding for kid? Okay, well, we're gonna do coding for kid. For a single kid, a single child. Okay, coding for kid. Uh, the password, uh, you know, anything you would want. I'm just gonna have mine, just something. I'm not gonna tell you, of course, but <laughs> uh, just choose your password. 4 to 64 characters with no repeating. Bruh, what the heck? Why is your password so strict? And then once you're done with your password, we're just gonna retype to make sure our. I almost said my password. All right. Um, you can even sign in with Google if you want, but I'm just going to do it this way. And then we're going to click create account. And there you go. That Your account has been created. And now we can click start playing. All right. Now you're in this world right here. And there is a lot of stuff we can do. But of course, we have to start off with number one since all of them are locked. And today, I'm not going to be doing all of them. I'm just going to be doing... Um, I'm gonna be doing only this one. There's so much uh, to learn. There's like simple AI scripting, uh, create, uh, keep learning HTML, arithmetic, uh, arithmetic, arithmetic. Uh, bro, I can't say arithmetic. Okay, counters, while loops, break, uh, blah blah, advanced techniques. Okay, so we're gonna just be starting with Kithgard Dungeon today. So click play, and there is sound, but if you don't like it, you can mute the tab. I'm gonna mute it a little bit because it's a bit too loud. A little distracting so here is where you start and you keep on going until you're out at the exit right here so we can click right here then we can click play and you can choose your heroes from this guy to this guy because we can't really choose these since uh you have to subscribe um so i'm not going to choose that i'm going to choose uh this guy i played this at school before and i played with this guy uh, this doesn't really ma matter um <laughs> uh, because i don't know i when i do it it doesn't really do anything you can choose any character you want definitely not this guy this is one of the worst people look look at their stats like come on okay i'm gonna choose this guy and then click next and why is he so short um we're gonna click equip and then we can click play equip is just a little accessory we can use uh because it gives us a little uh functions move down move left move right move up so we can uh actually code and here we have a simple task uh for us to do we can we have to get grab the treasure i'm gonna click escape we just grab the treasure and we have to not die to the spike so move down after that move right like so and then uh move i think that's it so we can click run move down move down uh, move right move down move right and there you go we collected the gem and that's it we're done and that's how to uh complete it there is like a little uh how do you call that achievements or goals that we have to do and if we complete it it'll go success and then click done right here and there you go you get your victory whatever uh you can there's also leaderboards by the way uh 
and you can see I'm number four. I'm tied with everybody else with 7.7 .7 seconds. All time is three seconds, 3.5, but I'm pretty sure they're just using a macro. These are really long time ago too, seven years ago, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, like, a, like a macro. Like they just have it on their mouse, press it. Yo, 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 shush. Uh, I'm going to watch them. Oh, back then, back then they didn't even have move forwards. Hold on, shush. So since this was like seven years ago, right? Before Code Combat was even like, uh, like more advanced. Like nowadays, they had to have like self move, uh, x dot y, uh, self dot position x plus eleven, self position y plus one. Man, that must be hard. And then they have self cast haste. So you can see they made themselves have haste, and then that made them go much faster than the normal person would. Wow. Yeah, that's fast. Okay, but anyways, we're gonna go to um, go back, and then we're gonna click out, and we're gonna rest on to the other one, gems in the deep. I'm gonna do ten or something today. Uh, as you can see, we got a new item. It's called the leather belt, and it's a thick belt that adds extra health. Okay, we're gonna click play, and you can even change your language if you want. But I'm gonna stick with Python. So we're gonna move right, and we're gonna move down, and this practice Python for us because uh, instead of just coding programs and stuff we can actually like implement it into like a game and it's more fun for everybody As you can see our goals are to avoid the spikes and collect the gems and we did just that we avoided the spikes grab the gems with a code uh simple move right move down move up move up move right and from here this x actually looks very simple but it's going to be um it's going to start to get more advanced uh, as we go on so i i don't know i'm competitive i want to check my stats what they oh they're that quicker than me man well no that means i'm quicker than them right i'm not sure but uh that's from the latest so all time all time is 3.7 seconds wow that's really quick all right let's move on to the next one shadow guard uh there's no there's nothing that we can unlock yet we can unlock this guy pretty good at protecting your innards um or health times 1.1 unlocked 67 or a glove i think i'll go with the go with the tarnished bronze thing okay let's confirm yay we have a we have a chest plate okay i can click play it's pretty fun um it reminds me of like dot a and yeah i played at school it's really competitive there's like a dueling thing and it was like fun for just uh dueling your friends all right so we have to not run into the spikes don't let the ogre see you so this guy and we have to get get all the gems so instead of moving forwards we have to move around right so gotta click move move up right move up and then from there we move right again move right and then move down oh shoot move down move right all right and then now we should be good okay let's see uh don't see us nice okay now we go up as you can see goals to success so we can just press done uh and there you go victory we can click continue and our next one is enemy mine and uh let's see can we unlock anything uh this is the daily quest we it gives you extra gems but honestly i don't really care i'll just press done and i'll just press play and then i will it's restricted what man that's not fun all right so let's press enemy mine let's play it play and uh now there's start to getting like uh like this is like the local variable for functions you know when you define it you have little uh variable you can put in yeah that's how that's what you're doing right now you can put in two to move twice all right let's see this map oh wow this is a this is quite a big map okay let's zoom out a bit okay so what do we have to do we have to avoid the fire traps i'm gonna assume that these are the fire traps uh, we have to get the gem so the gem is all the way at the exit so if we get the gem we're basically at the exit and then use five lines or co of code or less so i'm gonna go this way then up right down and then right again all right so that shouldn't be too hard we move right three times and then we move up once so move up move right and then move down one two three so move down three times move down three times and then move right twice like so we should be okay oh the goals are still incomplete let's see why 
Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Okay, wait. What did we do? Oh, wait. I move up. No, I meant move down. Okay, move down. Like so. Okay, let's see. Man, that was brutal. Oh, my gosh. Uh, It's still not working. Well, why is it? Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. There's something wrong. So, we move up, right? And then we move right. And then what happens from there? Why do we why do we move up? I, I said move down. Huh? Wait a minute. Is it bugged? Oh no. Uh let's try rewriting the code then. Move down. Move down. Three times. Okay. Hopefully it works. Ah, oh, finally. Okay. There was like a bug in the system or something. Okay. Go, go, go. Nice. Oh, I want to see the ogre get demolished. Okay, let's watch this. Boom. Yeah, L, 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 L. Okay, we've done this one. And let's click on continue. And then our next one is true names. Okay, let's see what this one does. All right, so now we're going to have a new equipment, which is about the sword. Um, that It makes it so that we can attack the ogres. So, yeah. Okay, I see Brack and Treg this uh is very menacing okay so if we were to run this right now we would hero would go up and attack brack all right and then we have to get the gem and kill treg right okay so well not kill i guess attack okay attack treg twice and collect the gem uh we don't need to exit right yeah i don't think we need to exit just attack trick okay so we're gonna move forward twice move forward or uh right twice twice and then we attack so we're just gonna copy and paste brack right here like so and then we're gonna change this to treg I'm not sure if it's case sensitive but uh just might as well, might as well just type it incorrectly all right let's see and move right twice oh okay not even twice that we're losing our health that's not good i don't want uh, i don't want this guy to get hurt so move only once let's see attack bam bam easy okay so that's it uh, I'm not sure if our hero has anything to do with this. If your hero's like um, <coughs> attack is like not as like good as some heroes, I'm not sure if that will affect your code in some way. But I don't think so. I think it's just there for fun. Um, cell commentary. All right, trapped in a prison cell with the famous wizard. Say the password to get the wizard's help. And there you go. You run into the ad. <laughs> Okay, well, we're not gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Oh, oh no, this is where they hit us with the good old paycheck.